now, please turn your attention to the video board on the east end of the Robert W. Plaster Center to hear from our president, Dr. Steve Scott, and our outstanding seniors, Aaron Cruz and Chris Warnemont. As the president of Pittsburgh State University, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this special and somewhat unique commencement ceremony. After all, this past year has certainly been a unique experience for all of us. And as we gather for today's event, it's essential that we take a moment to reflect not only on your time at Pitt State, but on the journey of this past year. We have experienced enormous loss, sacrifice, and disruption, the likes of which the world is really rarely seen. But through it all, we have persevered, and in doing so, we have revealed some personal inner strengths and discovered what it means to come together in the face of an unparalleled threat, COVID-19. Today, we recognize the work, the stress, the successes, and the moments you might have fallen short as you sought to complete your degree. We also say thanks to those who have helped along the way, including your families who have joined us here and those watching online. We thank your professors and staff who created a learning environment and a culture that I believe is second to none. In addition to the pandemic, America has seen additional challenges and angst over social justice issues and the feeling of many Americans that they've been left out and don't have access to America's promise. When the pandemic is behind us, those challenges to the fabric of America will persist. We have much work to do to address them and no scientist and no lab can help us as they have in fighting the virus. The path forward for a better America and world passes through each of our individual hearts. I trust your experience here has prepared you to help lead this effort. I think America's youth poet, Amanda Gorman, said it best. We are striving to form a union with purpose, to compose a country committed to all cultures, colors, characters, and conditions of man. So we lift our gazes not to what stands between us, but what stands before us. We close the divide because we know to put our future first, we must first put our differences aside. We lay down our arms so we can reach out our arms to one another. We seek harm to none and harmony for all. I believe there's no better message from the past 12 months than hurt. I hope you carry that message with you as you exit the arena as a Pitt State grad, COVID tested and on your way to make the world a better place. At this time, let's hear from our 2021 Outstanding Seniors. As my time at Pittsburgh State University started to come to an end, I began to reflect on my time here and what we mean when we say, once a gorilla, always a gorilla. One of the first things that comes to mind for me is the sense of community that's created in the gorilla nation. The many people you meet who become lifelong friends, mentors, and supporters in your corner and knowing that no matter where life takes you, the amount of love and investment in your story will never waver from a fellow gorilla. Here at Pitt State, we are a community that cares for each other, for those who we don't know, and for the world around us. To me, once a gorilla, always a gorilla means that I will always find somebody in my corner rooting for me, and that I will now always be that somebody for anyone else who needs it. Gorillas, as you walk across the stage today and go out into the world, I hope you all continue to care for each other and the world around you, to build community wherever you are, and to always be that somebody rooting for anyone who needs it. Congratulations to the class of 2021. I wish you the best in all of life's endeavors. And remember, once a gorilla, always a gorilla. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the graduating class of 2021's commencement ceremony. A few years ago, my high school coach told me that you can do anything, but you can't do it by yourself. So, on behalf of the class of 2021, I'd like to thank everyone who made this possible for us. To the family members who are a sounding board and believed in us even when we may have not believed in ourselves, thank you. To the faculty and staff who supported us and went above and beyond to make a personal connection with us, shout out to Charlie and Jordan, my professors, thank you. To the friendships we cherish and the friends we made lifelong memories with, thank you. And to everyone else who we could not have done this without but we may not recognize as much as we should, thank you. Class of 2021, if there's one thing I want you to remember today, it's that we did it, but we did not do it alone. 
Each and every one of us is someone we could not have done this without, and I encourage you to give them a thank you as soon as you can today. I wish you all the best of luck in whatever the future holds for you. Congratulations, Class of 2021. And now the moment you've waited years for, worked so hard for, and for the moment that brings us here together today, I have some official words to share with you. By virtue of the authority granted me by the Board of Regents and the State of Kansas, and upon recommendation of our terrific faculty, I now confer upon each of you the appropriate degree, the requirements of which you have fulfilled, and do hereby vest each of you with the rights and privileges pertaining to that degree. You may now move your tassel from right to left, and yes, that makes it official. You are now Gorilla alumni, and you know what we say, and we mean it, once a gorilla, always a gorilla. And on behalf of the faculty and staff of Pittsburgh State University and the more than 65,000 gorillas around the globe, congratulations, graduates, and best wishes for a bright and successful future. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. Scott, Aaron, and Chris. After you enter John Lance Arena, you'll see a platform party ready to shepherd you through this milestone achievement. Included are President Scott, the Dean of the College of Technology, Dr. Bob Frisbee, our Registrar, Melinda Rolfs, and Dr. Shelley Kiblinger, a member of the Kansas Board of Regents. We will honor our graduates by reading the name of each student who crosses the stage this afternoon. We will also list every spring 2021 College of Technology graduate in the recording of this ceremony posted to PittState.tv. And now, would the marshals direct the candidates to move toward John Lance Arena to receive their diplomas? <laughs> We will now recognize spring 2021 degree candidates for the College of Technology.
Laban Fisher. Colin A. Becker. Rodney May. Joel D. Repu. Morgan M. O'Malley. Alexander Joseph Cipherlein. Ethan S. Stahlbomber. Austin R. Riggin. Joshua Carl Roach. Hector Pena. Grace F. Cresswell. Krishna Baraji. Jonathan Rutherford. Kyle J. Kaler. Brockton Budkey. Braden S. Stanhope. Sherrick A. Rogers. Nicholas L. Grantham. Timothy Andrew Clinker. Gage A. Efkin. Tanner L. Wright. Dwarkesh T. Thakar. Rocky D. Emery. Joshua J. Testo. Tyler W. White. Jacob M. Caro. Garrett M. Armstrong. Andrew Joseph Berg. Avery G. Parker.
Kaylee S. Berger. Maggie C. Parsons. Jonathan D. Brader. Jacob Daniel Paget. Matthew Bollinger. Luke M. Loy. Jonathan Allen. Dylan S. Gordon. Bryson A. Patterson. Drew C. Stearns. Alexander M. Wilson. Daniel Lane Blundell. Cody Douglas Michael Cox. Logan C. McCuller. Luton A. Warwick. Clay C. Altic. Robert J. Rieger. Ryan L. Baker. Blake Chambers. Nolan Warren. Hunter J. Mitchell. Jacoby K. Nash. Zacchaeus E. White. William Kelly. Dylan J. Jenkins. Emily Yoon Puser. Christopher M. Jones. Logan Jensen. Kiana Thorne. Adrian D. Ensaldo. <laughs> Jessica Allen Bryans. <laughs> P. 
Paul Hilbert. Whitney R. Long. Noah K. Winter. Clinton K. Allen. Connor J. Murphy. Matthew M. Tyree. Caleb Patrick Swaim. Kimberly C. Stone. Brandon Gann. Braden B. Glades. Connor I. Baker. Richard Cadena. Gavin J. Foster. Jared M. Robbins. Gavin T. Polson. Carla Salas. Brody D. Troop. Dalton A. Ficker. John S. Houck. <laughs> Logan E. Jose. Matthew McAuliffe. Matthew Sampson. Kenton D. Richards. Colin Snodgrass. Brandon T. Moore. Alex Garcia. Blake Rast. Austin K. Rodriguez. Caleb Douglas Martin. Keegan R. Boyd. Gage Armstrong. Timotheus W. Boyd. Scott Small. Tara Rogers. Ya 
Josh Warlikar. Fernander Reddy Venna. Pranay Kumar Reddy Akaram. Vera Mahesh Vandala. Sagar Madhav Nagani. Punkti Pakel Jaya Farouk Reddy Rahul Yana Bathula. Raj Dinesh Kumar Patel. Dhruv Kumar Patel. The graduates you saw this afternoon join over 1,200 of their classmates in celebrating their graduation this weekend as we emerge from one of the most difficult times in our nation's history. We applaud their perseverance and determination to complete their college degree, and they now enter the world as gorillas. Finally today, we honor those who experienced their own commencement five decades ago. Pittsburgh State University is proud to welcome Half Century Club members from the classes of 1970 and 1971 who are with us online. Joining us from the class of 1970, Melvin Augustine, Leanna Goins Baker, Janice Susnick Bartlow, Terry Bartlow, Sue Carter, Vincent Chirafasi, Kathy Davis Dubois, Paul Gillum, Tom Glenstra, Edward Gomez Jr., Terry Hersberger, Marty Eisen, Mary Lou Gathaman Knox, Robert Kunchek, Joe Martin, Floyd May, Mike McCready, Miles Schneer, Dale Schneider, Loretta Ferraro Scott, Peggy Coleman Chaverti, Trudy Goodall Sims, Joe 
Oakleaf Slaughter, Ivorlene Swain, Peter Thomas, and Dolores Wren Wishart. From the class of 1971, Vaughn Allen, Arlo Amstutz, Allen Carlson, Brad Carter, Anita Ray Delatore, Michael Delatore, Randy Deem, Murray Franz, Connie Brown May, Virginia Wharton Pellman, Debbie Post Potter, Eldon Prawl, Tom Restivo, Catherine Munkin Richard, and Carol Baldwin Stevens. Congratulations to our Half Century Club members. That concludes our commencement exercises for spring 2021 graduates of the College of Technology at Pittsburgh State University. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2021.